Hello and welcome to our video on microbiome. So today we are going to discuss about general principles underlying spoilage. This video will be helpful for those who are preparing for food safety related exams. So let's get started. So first about non-perishable foods otherwise called stable that is do not spoil unless handled carelessly. Example sugar flour and tri beans and next about semi perishable food so the examples apples waxed wood wedges nut meats so if properly handled and stored it remain unspoiled for long time and next perishable food example meat fish poultry most foods and vegetables eggs and milk it spoils readily unless the special preservative methods are used. So the spoilage of food at any temperature between 5 and 70 degrees Celsius. And next, anaerobic decomposition which leads to putrefaction. That is the decomposition of proteins and peptides or amino acids which result in production of obnoxious odors that is called putrefaction. Then fats are hydrolyzed by microbial lipase to glycerol and fatty acids and coming to oxidative deamination process the products formed are keto acid and ammonia and next in hydrolytic deamination process the products formed are hydroxy acid and ammonia and next metabiosis that is one organism makes conditions favorable for growth of the second and next about water activity as low as 0 0.70 which makes unlikely any spoilage by microorganism of a food held at room temperature. And next, freezing which not only prevents the microbial growth but also the damaged tissues so that the juices released on thawing favor the microbial growth. Grape juice which favors the yeast growth because of its high sugar content and low pH. Then monosaccharides, example glucose, which aerobically oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. And next, alcohol, that are oxidized to organic acid, example ethanol to acetic acid. Next, lipoproteins, that are made up of proteins, cholesterol esters, and phospholipids. Examples of semi perishable food is potatoes. And next, Spoilage in food which may due to insect, physical changes, growth and activity of microorganism. Then about criteria for the assurance of fitness in food that is freedom from pollution at any stage in the production and handling and the desired stage of development or maturity. And next streptococcus lactis which cause no color change in milk. A dry food like bread that is most likely to be spoiled by molds. Freezing, which prevents the microbial growth. Then carbonates, occurring in food is due to the oxidation of organic acid. And next, pectin esterases, which cause the hydrolysis of methyl ester linkage of pectin to yield pectic acid. In reductive deamination process, the products formed are saturated fatty acid and ammonia. Annexed the organism named desulfatomaculum nigrificans, which can reduce the sulfate to sulfate. So, if you have any doubt, please ask on to the comment section. For more videos, please like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.